When you install your PeopleSoft demo environment, either in your local PC or in cloud, COBOL processes will not run right out of the box. You have to download and install a COBOL compiler in your PeopleSoft environment in order for your COBOLs to work. As you can see on the screen, this is my PeopleSoft HRMS demo environment installed on PeopleTools 8.58. In this tutorial, I will show you how to download and install MicroFocus COBOL compiler, the latest version to compile COBOL programs in your PeopleSoft environment. Keep in mind, this is just a temporary license for a 30 day evaluation period. You have to purchase full license in case if you want to use it in your production environment. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. To download COBOL compiler installation files, I will navigate to edelivery.oracle.com. I will fire up this URL and then click on sign in button. If you don't have Oracle account, you can create one by clicking this create account button. This account can be created with your personal email address. Since I already have an account, I will quickly log in using my credentials. Now I will sign in. All we need to do is search for MicroFocus Visual COBOL and click on search button. In this demo, I will show you how to compile COBOL programs in Windows 10 environment. So let's select MicroFocus Visual COBOL for Windows by clicking on cloud icon. Our selection was added to download queue. Let's continue the download process by clicking on view items on the top right hand corner. Let's click on continue button. I will continue to the next step. Now I will accept terms and conditions. I will acknowledge that I have reviewed my terms and conditions. Now I will click on continue button and I will hide the feedback section. Now is the time to pick and choose which files to download. I would definitely download first three files because they contain important documentation and most importantly temporary license code that is required to compile our COBOL files. Next I would download the first two files in the second section. They are COBOL build tools. Basically these two zip files contains all softwares required to compile our COBOL files. I will go ahead and deselect all the files that are not required to be downloaded. That's about it. I'll go ahead and download all our five files by clicking on the download button. Then you would notice an exe file downloaded into your local computer. You have to click open file. Here you can select your download location, your destination folder. Then click next to download your files. Then I would wait until all our files are downloaded. Here we go. These are the files we just downloaded. Now I will unzip the file that contains temporary microfocus license. The unzipped folder contains the temporary license codes to run our COBOL compiler. We are going to use one of these license codes pretty soon. Let's go back and unzip other installation files. Are you wondering if there is any Oracle documentation to show you how to compile your COBOL files? We have it guys. This is the zip file. If you unzip it, you will see a PDF that will show you how to compile your COBOL programs. For this demo, we are not going to do it because I'm going to show you how to do it. Now let's go ahead and unzip COBOL build files. There are two parts to it. The file ending with 630 is part one and the file ending with 631 is part two. We just extracted part one of COBOL build tool. Now I will go ahead and unzip the second part. The installation process for the two parts is pretty straightforward. All we need to do is double click on each one of these exe files and system will install all the softwares that are required 
to compile our COBOL files. I double click the, on the first installation file. I will accept terms and conditions. Now I will click on install button to install our COBOL build tool. It took a while around 45 minutes but finally able to successfully install COBOL build tools. I will follow the same process for our second installation file. The installation process for the second part was pretty quick. It took around 5 minutes for the installation process to complete. That's it guys. We have installed all the softwares required to compile our COBOL files. Let's take a quick second to understand what was installed behind the scenes. As you can see there are a bunch of softwares that were installed when we clicked on those exe files. Most importantly we can notice Visual Studio Build Tools 2017 as well as Microfocus License Manager. Using License Manager let's activate one of those license codes we just downloaded. In order to activate Microfocus Temporary License just search for license and you will notice Microfocus License Administration app. Double click on it. Navigate to install tab. Now let's browse to the folder where we downloaded our temporary license code. Remember this is the first file which we extracted. If you double click on it, here are the license codes for different softwares. As you saw Visual Studio was installed behind the scenes. Let's activate that license code by selecting that file. I will click open and in order to activate our license we need to click on install license button. Our micro focus license was activated. Now we have everything that we need to compile our COBOL files. But before we do that let me show you my PeopleSoft installation directory. Under people tools folder I have all important files including HCM application home folder which contains all files related to HCM application. Then we have people tools home directory which hosts all people tools specific files. Now it's time to compile our COBOL files. In order to do that I will open my command prompt in administrator mode. And here is our command prompt. Before we can compile our COBOL files we have to set three environment variables. First I will set ps underscore home variable to the folder I have already shown you before. And this is my PeopleSoft home. Let me copy this. Now we have to set another variable called app home. ps app home. This is where my app home is located. And I have set that variable. Now we have to set one last variable called COBOL root. If you remember we have installed Visual COBOL build tools to compile our COBOL files. Hence I will copy that installation directory path. I will assign this path to our COBOL root environment variable. That's it guys. We are done with setting all required environment variables. Now it's time to build our COBOL files. There are COBOL files located in both tools folder and as well as application home folder. Let's compile both of them. In order to build our COBOL files, we have to navigate to the path where a software that can build COBOL files exists. I just navigated to the setup folder where that software exists. In order to build the COBOL file, we need to write the command called cbl bld and which drive we are going to build its C drive and we need to provide the location where we plan to build our COBOL files. We have some COBOL files in the tools folder so I have copied the tools location and I will provide the variable name and I will click enter. It will start COBOL compilation process. As you can see system is in process of compiling our COBOL files right now building the COBOL targets. As you can see all our COBOLs in the tools directory were successfully compiled. Let's compile all the COBOLs in our application folder. In order to do that let's again use the command cbl build and in which directory we plan to compile our COBOLs and we have to select our application home folder where our application COBOLs exist. 
let's provide the location and specify the variable that holds application home information. Now I'll click enter to kick off COBOL compilation process. After a while, majority of my COBOL processes were compiled successfully except a few, few COBOLs that failed. I think we are good. Let's go ahead and test one of the COBOL processes from the front end. Let's go ahead and run a COBOL program from system process request page to make sure if our COBOL compilation process was successful or not. Let's go ahead and search for an existing run control and I'll click on the run button. PeopleSoft delivered a test COBOL program that we can leverage to see if our COBOL processes are running or not. I'll select it and click OK and I will navigate to process monitor. Our COBOL process ran to success. That's pretty much about it for today guys. If you like the content, don't forget to hit that like button below. And if you want more of these videos, subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week. Until then, keep learning.